good wishes to all of you indian polity by m lakshmi kant sir topic 6 citizenship audio book meaning and significance like any other modern state india has two kinds of people citizens and aliens citizens are full members of the indian state and owe allegiance to it they enjoy all civil and political rights aliens on the other hand are the citizens of some other state and hence do not enjoy all the civil and political rights they are of two categories friendly aliens or enemy aliens friendly aliens are the subjects of those countries that have cordial relations cordial relations with india enemy aliens on the other hand are the subjects of that country that is at war with india they enjoy lesser rights than the friendly aliens example they do not enjoy protection against arrest and detention article 22 the constitution confers the following rights and privileges on the citizens citizens of india and denies the same to aliens right against discrimination on grounds of religion race caste sex or place of birth article 15 right to equality of opportunity in the matter of public employment article 16 right to freedom of speech and expression assembly association movement residence and profession article 19 cultural and educational rights articles 29 and 30 right to vote in elections to the lok sabha and state legislative assembly right to contest for the membership of the parliament and the state legislator eligibility to hold certain public offices that is president of india vice president of india judges of the supreme court and the high courts governors of states attorney general of india and advocate general of states along with the above rights the citizens also owe certain duties towards the indian states as for example paying taxes respecting the national fa- flag and national anthem defending the country and so on in india both the citizen by birth as well as the naturalized naturalized citizen are eligible for the office of president while in usa only a citizen by birth and not a naturalized naturalized citizen is eligible for the office of president constitutional provisions the constitution deals with the citizenship from article 5 to 11 under part 2 however it contains neither any permanent nor any elaborate provisions in this regard it only identifies the persons who became citizens of india at its commencement that is on january 26 1915 it does not deal with the problem of acquisition or loss of citizenship subsequent to its commencement it empowers the parliament to enact a law to provide for such matters and any other matter relating to citizenship accordingly the parliament has enacted the citizenship act 1955 which has been amended from time to time according to the constitution the following four categories of persons became the citizens of india at its commencement that is on january 26 1950 a person who had his domicile in india and also fulfilled any one of the three conditions which if he was born in india or if either of his parents was born in india or if he has been ordinarily resident in india for 5 years immediately before the commencement of the constitution became a citizen of india a person who migrated to india from pakistan became an indian citizen if he or either of his parents or any of his grandparents was born in undivided india and also fulfilled any one of the two conditions which in case he migrated to india before july 19 1948 he had been ordinarily resident in india since the date of his migration or in case he migrated to india on or after july 19 1948 he had been registered as a citizen of india but a person could be so registered only if he had been resident in india for 6 months preceding the date of his application for registration a person who migrated to pakistan from india after march 1 1947 but later returned to india for resettlement could become an indian citizen for this he had to be resident in india for 
six months preceding the date of his application for registration a person who or any of whose parents or grandparents was born in undivided india but who is ordinarily residing outside india shall become an indian citizen if he has been registered as a citizen of india by the diplomatic or consular representative of india in the country of his residence whether before or after the commencement of the constitution thus this provision covers the overseas indians who may want to acquire indian citizenship to sum up these provisions deal with the citizenship of persons uh, domiciled in india persons migrated from pakistan persons migrated to pakistan but later returned and persons of indian origin residing outside india the other constitutional provisions with respect to the citizenship are as follows no person shall be a citizen of india or be deemed to be a citizen of india if he has voluntarily acquired the citizenship of any foreign state every person who is or is deemed to be a citizen of india shall continue to be such citizen subject to the provisions of any law made by parliament parliament shall have the power to make any provision with respect to the acquisition and termination of citizenship and all other matters relating to citizenship citizenship act 1955 the citizenship act 1955 provides for acquisition and loss of citizenship after the commencement of the constitution originally the citizenship act 1955 also provided for the commonwealth citizenship but this provision was repealed by the citizenship amendment act 2003 acquisition of citizenship the citizenship act of 1955 prescribes five ways of acquiring citizenship which were decent registration naturalization and incorporation of territory by birth a person born in india on or after january 26 1950 but before july 1 1987 is a citizen of india by birth irrespective of the nationality of his parents a person born in india on or after july 1 1987 is considered as a citizen of india only if either of his parents is a citizen of india at um, the time of his birth further those born in india on or often after december 3 2004 are considered citizens of india only if both of their parents are citizens of india or one of whose parents is a citizen of india and the other is not an illegal migrant at the time of their birth the children of foreign diplomats posted in india and enemy aliens cannot acquire indian citizenship by birth by descent a person born outside india on or after january 26 1950 but before december 10 1992 is a citizen of india by descent if his father was a citizen of india at the time of his birth a person born outside india or on or after december 10 1992 is considered as a citizen of india if their of his parents is a citizen of india at the time of his birth from december 3 2004 onwards a person born outside india shall not be a citizen of india by descent unless his birth is registered at an indian consul consulate within one year of the date of birth or with the permission of the central government after the expiry of the said period an application for registration of the birth of a minor child to an indian consul shall be accompanied by an undertaking in writing from the parents of such minor child that he or she does not hold the passport of any another country further a minor who is a citizen of india by virtue of descent and is also a citizen of any other country shall cease to be a citizen of india if he does not renounce the citizenship or nationality of another country within 6 months of his attaining full age by registration the central government may on an application register as a citizen of india any person not being an illegal migrant if he belongs to any of the following categories namely a person of india origin who is 
ordinarily resident in India for seven years before making an application for registration. A person of India origin who is ordinarily resident in any country or place outside undivided India. A person who is married to a citizen of India and is ordinarily resident in India for seven years before making an application for registration. Minor children of persons who are citizens of India. A person of full age and capability whose parents are registered as citizens of India. A person of full age and capacity who or either of his parents was earlier citizen of independence India and is ordinarily resident in India for 12 months immediately before making an application for registration. A person of full age and capacity who has been registered as an overseas citizen of India cardholder for 5 years and who is ordinarily resident in India for 12 months before making an application for registration. A person shall be deemed to be of Indian origin if he or either of his parents was born in undivided India or in such other territory which became part of India after the August 15, 1947. All the above categories of persons must take an oath of elegance before they are registered as citizens of India. By naturalization, the central government may on an application grant a certificate of naturalization to any person not being an illegal migrant if he possesses the following qualifications that he is not a subject or citizen of any country where citizens of India are prevented from becoming subjects or citizens of that country by naturalization. That if he is a citizen of any country, he undertakes to renounce the citizenship of that country in the event of his application for Indian citizenship being as accepted. That he has either resided in India or been in the service of a government in India or partly the one and partly the other throughout the period of 12 months immediately preceding the date of the application. That during the 14 years immediately preceding the said period of 12 months he has either resided in India or been in the service of a government in India or partly the one and partly the other for periods amounting in the aggregate to not less than 11 years that he is of good character that he has an advocate knowledge of a language specified in the 8th schedule to the constitution and that in the event of the certificate of naturalization being granted to him he intends to reside in India or to enter into or continue in service under a government in India or under an international organization of which India is a member or under a society, company or body of persons established in India. However, the government of India may waive all or any of the above conditions for naturalization in the case of a person who has rendered distinguished services to the science, philosophy, art, literature, world peace or human progress. Every naturalization, every naturalized citizen must take an oath of elegance to the constitution of India by incorpor incorporation of territory. If any fo foreign territory becomes a part of India, the government of India specifies the persons who among the people of the territory shall be the citizens of India. Such persons become the citizens of India from the notified date. For example, when Pondicherry became a part of India, the government of India issued the Citizenship Pondicherry Order 1962 under the Citizenship Act 1955. Special provisions as to citizenship of persons covered by the Assam Accord. The Citizenship Amendment Act 1985 added the following special provisions as to citizenship of persons covered by the Assam Accord which related to the foreigners issue. All persons of Indian origin who came to Assam before the January 1st 1966 from Bangladesh and who have been who have been ordinarily residents in Assam since the date of their entry into Assam shall be deemed to be citizens of India as from the January 1st 1966. Every person of India origin who came to Assam on or after the January 1st 
1966 but before the march 25 1971 from bangladesh and who has been ordinarily resident in assam since the date of his entry into assam and who has been detected to be a foreigner shall register himself such a registered person shall be deemed to be a citizen of india for all purposes as from the date of expiry of a period of 10 years from the date of detection as a foreigner but in the in intervening period of 10 years he shall have the same rights and obligations as a citizen of india excepting the right to vote laws of citizenship the citizenship act 1955 prescribes three ways of losing citizenship whether acquired under the act or prior to it under the constitution with renunciation termination and deprivation by renunciation any citizen of india of full age and capa- capacity can make a declaration renouncing his indian citizenship upon the registration of that declaration that person ceases to be a citizen of india however if such a declaration is made during a war in which india is engaged its registration shall be withheld by the central government further when a person renounces his indian citizenship every minor child of that person also loses india indian citizenship however when such a child attains the age of 18 he may resume indian citizenship by termination when an indian citizen voluntarily consciously knowingly and without duress and due influence or compulsion acquires the citizenship of another country his uh, indian citizenship automatically terminates this provision however does not apply during a war in which india is engaged by deprivation it is a compulsory termination of indian citizenship by the central government if the citizen has obtained the citizenship by fraud the citizen has shown disloyalty to the constitution of india the citizen has unlawfully traded or communicated with the enemy during a war the citizen has within 5 years after registration or naturalization been imprisoned in any country for 2 years and the citizen has been ordinarily resident out of india for 7 years continuously single citizenship single citizenship so the indian constitution is federal and envisages a dual polity center and state it provides for only a single citizenship that is the indian citizenship the citizens in india owe allegiance only to the union there is no separate state citizenship the other federal states like usa and switzerland on the other hand adopted the system of double citizenship in usa each person is not only a citizen of usa but also of the particular state to which he belongs thus he owes allegiance to both and enjoys dual sets of rights one set conferred by the national government and another by the state government the system creates the problem of discrimination that is a state may discriminate in favor of its citizen citizens in matters like right to vote right to hold public offices right to participate professions on and so on this problem is avoided in the system of single citizenship prevalent in india in india all citizens irrespective of the state in which they are born or reside enjoy the same political and civil rights of citizenship all over the country and no discrimination is made between them however this general rule of absence of discrimination is subject to some expectations which the parliament under article 16 can prescribe residence within a state or union territory as a condition for certain employments or appointments in that state or union territory or local authority or other authority within that state or union territory accordingly the parliament enacted 
the public employment requirement as to residents act 1957 and thereby authorized the government of india to prescribe residential qualification only for appointment to non gazetted posts in andhra pradesh himachal pradesh manipur and tripura as this act expired in 1974 there is no such provisions for any state except andhra pradesh and telangana the constitution under article 15 prohibits discrimination against any citizen on grounds of religion race caste sex or place of birth and not on the ground of residence this means that the state can provide special benefits or give per- preference to its residents in matters that do not come within the purview of the rights given by the constitution to the indian citizens for example a state may offer concession in face, face of her education to its residents the freedom of movement and residence under article 19 is subjected to the protection of interests of any scheduled tribe in other words the right of outsiders to enter reside and settle in tribal areas is restricted of course this is done to protect and distinctive culture language customs and manners of manners of our scheduled tribes and to safeguard their traditional occasion and property against exploitation till 2019 the legislature of the erstwhile state of jammu and kashmir was empowered to define the persons who are permanent residents of the state and confer any special rights and privileges on such permanent residents as respects employment under the state government acquisition of irrevocable property in the state settlement in the state and right to scholarships and such other forms of aid provided by the state government the above provisions was based on article 35a of the constitution of india this article was inserted in the constitution by the constitution application to jammu and kashmir order 1954 this order was issued by the president under article 370 of the constitution which had provided a special status to the erstwhile state of jammu and kashmir in 2019 this special status was abolished by a new presidential order known as the constitution application to jammu and kashmir order 2019 this order superseded the earlier 1954 order the constitution of india like that of canada has introduced the systems of single citizenship and provided uniform rights except in few cases for the people of india to promote the feeling of fraternity and unity among them and so unto build an integrated indian nation despite this india has been witnessing the communal rights class conflicts caste wars linguistic clashes and ethnic disputes this the cherished goal of the founding fathers and the constitution makers to build an united and integrated indian national nation has not been fully realized overseas citizenship of india in september 2000 the government of india ministry of external affairs had set up a high level committee on the indian diaspora under the chairmanship of lm singhvi the mandate of the committee was to make a comprehensive study of the global indian diaspora and to recommend measures for a constructive relationship with them the committee submitted its report in january 2002 it recommended the amendment of the citizenship act 1955 to provide for grant for dual citizenship to the persons of indian origin pios belonging to certain specified countries accordingly the citizenship amendment act 2003 made a provision for acquisition of overseas citizenship of india oci by the pio of 16 specified countries other than pakistan and bangladesh it also omitted all provisions recognizing or relating to the commonwealth citizenship from the principal act later the citizenship amendment act 2005 expanded the 
स्कोप ऑफ ग्रांट ऑफ ओ सी आई फॉर पी आई वो ऑफ ऑल कंट्रीज एक्सपेक्ट एक्सेप्ट पाकिस्तान एंड बांग्लादेश एज लॉन्ग एज देयर होम कंट्रीज एल ड्यूएल सिटीजनशिप अंडर देयर लोकल लॉस इट मस्ट बी नोटेड हियर दैट द ओ सी आई इज नॉट एक्चुअली ड्यूएल सिटीजनशिप एज द इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन फॉरबिट्स ड्यूएल सिटीजनशिप और ड्यूएल नेशनैलिटी आर्टिकल नाइन एगैन द सिटीजनशिप अमेंडमेंट एक्ट टू थाउजेंड फिफ्टीन हैज मॉडिफाइड द प्रोविजन पर्टाइनिंग टू दी ओ सी आई इन दी प्रिंसिपल एक्ट इट हैज इंट्रोड्यूस ए न्यू स्कीम कॉल ओवरसीज सिटीजनशिप ऑफ इंडियन कार्ड होल्डर बाय मर्जिंग द पी आई वो कार्ड स्कीम एंड दी ओ सी आई कार्ड स्कीम दी पी आई वो कार्ड स्कीम वॉज इंट्रोड्यूस ऑन आगस्ट नाइनटीन टू थाउजेंड टू एंड देर आफ्टर दी ओ सी आई कार्ड स्कीम वॉज इंट्रोड्यूस डब्ल्यू ई एफ डिसम्बर टू टू थाउजेंड फाइव बोथ द स्कीम्स वर रनिंग इन पैरल इवन दी ओ सी आई कार्ड स्कीम हैड बिकम मोर पॉपुलर दिस वॉज कॉजिंग अननेसरी कन्फ्यूजन इन दी माइंडस ऑफ एप्लीकेशन applicants keeping in view some problem being faced by applicants and to provide enhanced facilities to them the government of india decided to formulate one single scheme after merging the pivo and oci schemes containing positive attributes of both hence for achieving this objective the citizenship amendment act 2015 was enacted the pivo scheme was rescinded wef january 9 2015 and it was also notified that all existing pivo card holders shall be deemed to be oci card holders wef january 9 2015 the citizenship amendment act 2015 repealed the nomenclature of overseas citizenship uh, citizen of uh, india with that of overseas citizen of india card holder and made the following provisions in the principal act registration of overseas citizen of india card holder the central government may on an application made in this behalf register as an overseas citizen of india card holder any person of full asian capacity who is a citizen of another country but was a citizen of india at the time of or at any time after the commencement of the constitution or who is a citizen of another country but was eligible to become a citizen of india at the time of the commencement of the constitution or who is a citizen of another country but belong to him territory that became part of india after the 15th august 1947 or who is a child or a grandchild or a great grandchild of such a citizen or a person who is a minor child of him person mentioned in clause or a person who is a minor child and whose both parents are citizens of india or one of the parents is a citizen of india or spouse of foreign origin of a citizen of india or spouse of foreign origin of an overseas citizen of india card holder and whose marriage has been registered and subsisted for him continuous period of not less than 2 years immediately preceding the presentation of the application no person who or either of whose parents or grandparents or great grandparents is or had been a citizen of pakistan bangladesh or such other country as the central government may specify shall be eligible for registration as an overseas citizen of india card holder the central government may specify the date from which the existing persons of indian origin card holders shall be deemed to be overseas citizen of india card holders not withstanding anything contained in point the central government may if is satisfied that special circ- special circumstances exist after recording the circumstances in writing register a person as an overseas citizen of india card holder confirmation or of rights on overseas citizen of uh, india card holder an overseas citizen of india card holder shall be entitled to such rights as the central government may specify in this behalf an overseas citizen of india card holder shall not be entitled to the following rights which are conferred on him citizen of india 
he shall not be entitled to the right to equality of opportunity in matters of public employment he shall not be eligible for election as president he shall not be eligible for election as vice president he shall not be eligible for appointment as a judge of the supreme court he shall not be eligible for appointment as a judge of the high court he shall not be entitled for registration as a voter he shall not be eligible for being a member of the house for the house of the people or of the council of states he shall not be eligible for being a member of the state legislative assembly or the state legislative council he shall not not be eligible for appointment to public services and posts in connection with affairs of the union or of any state except for appointment in such services and posts as the central government may specify renunciation of overseas citizen of india card if any overseas citizen of india card holder makes in prescribed manner a declaration renouncing the card registering him as an overseas citizen of india card holder the declaration shall be registered by the central government and upon such registration that person shall cease to be an overseas citizen of india card holder when a person ceases to be an overseas citizen of india card holder this spouse of foreign origin of the person who has obtained overseas citizen of india card and every minor child of that person registered as an overseas citizen of india card holder shall thereupon cease to be an overseas citizen of indian card holder cancellation of registration as overseas citizen of indian india card holder the central government may cancel the registration of a person as an overseas citizen of india card holder if it is satisfied that the registration as an overseas citizen of india card holder was obtained by means of fraud false representation or the con- concealment of any material fact or the overseas citizen of india card holder has shown disaffection towards the constitution of india or the overseas citizen of india card holder has during any war in which india may be engaged unlawfully traded or communicated with an enemy or the overseas citizen of citizen of india card holder has within 5 years after registration been sentenced to imprisonment for a term of not less than 2 years or it is necessary so to do in the interests of the sovereignty and integrity of india the security of india friendly relations of india with any foreign country or in the interest of the general public or the marriage of an overseas citizen of india card holder has been dissolved by a component court of law or otherwise or has not been dissolved but during the subsistence of such marriage he has solemnized marriage with any other persons comparing nri pio and oci card holder elements of comparison non resident india nri person of india origin pio overseas citizen of india oci card holder who an indian citizen who is ordinarily residing out outside india and holds an indian passport called nri person of indian origin pio a person who or whose any of ancestors was an indian national and who is presently holding another country's citizenship or nationality that he he she is holding foreign passport over citizen of india oci card holder a person registered as overseas citizen of india oci card holder under the citizenship act 1955 elements of compa- comparison non resident indian nri person of indian origin pio overseas citizen of indian oci card holder who is eligible overseas in- citizen of indian oci card holder following categories of foreign nationals are eligible for registration as overseas citizen of india oci card holder who was a citizen of india at the time of or at any time after the commencement of the constitution 
26/1/1950 or who was eligible to become a citizen of India on 26/1/1950 or who belonged to a territory that became part of India after 15/8/1947 or who is a child or a grandchild or a great grandchild of such a citizen or who is a minor child of such persons mentioned above or who is a minor child and whose both parents are citizens of india or one of the parents is a citizen of india or spouse of foreign origin of the citizen of india or spouse of foreign origin of an overseas citizen of india card holder registered under the citizenship act 1955 and whose marriage has been registered and subsisted for a continuous period of not less than 2 years immediately preceding the presentation of the application how can one get eligible persons to apply online oci card holder where to apply oci till such time the online payment facility is introduced or the following instruction shall be followed the print out of the online application form completed in all respects along with enclosures demand draft and photograph in duplicate should be submitted to the indian mission post having jurisdiction over the country of which the applicant is a citizen or if he she is not living in the country of his her citizenship to the indian mission post having jurisdiction over the country of which the applicant is ordinarily a resident if the applicant is residing in india the print out of the online application form completed in all respects along with enclosures demand draft and photographs in duplicate should be submitted to the foreigners regional registration offices frrvs according to their jurisdiction control fees oci in case of application submitted in indian mission post abroad us dollars 275 or equivalent in local currency in case of application submitted in india rs 15000 elements of comparison which nationals are ineligible oci card holder no person who or either of whose parents or or grandparents or great grandparents is or had been a citizen of pakistan bangladesh or such other country as the central government may specify shall be eligible for registration as an overseas citizen of india card holder elements of comparison what benefits one is entitled to nri all benefits as available to indian citizen subject to notifications issued by the government from from time to time pio no specific benefits oci multiple entry lifelong visa for visiting india for any purpose however oci card holders will require a special permissions to undertake research work in india for which they may submit the application to the indian mission post frrvo consent exemption from registration with the foreigners regional registration officer f double r wo or foreigners registration officer frvo for any length of stay in india parity with the non resident indians nris in respect of all facilities available to them in economic financial and educational fields except in matters relating to the acquisition of agriculture or plantation properties registered overseas citizen of india card holder shall be treated at par with the non resident indians in the matter of inter country adoption of whom indian children registered overseas citizen of india card holder shall be treated at par with the resident indian nationals in the matter of transfer tariffs in tariffs air fares in domestic sectors in india registered overseas citizen of india card holder shall be changed at the same entry fees as domestic indian visitors to visit national parks and wildlife sanctuaries in india party with non resident indians in respect of entry fees to be charged for visiting the national monuments historical sites and museums in india pursuing the following professions in india in pres- in persons of the provisions contained in the relevant acts namely doctors dentists nurses and pharmacists advocates 
architects and chartered accountants to appear for for the all india pre medical test or such other test to make them eligible for admission in pursuance of the provisions contained in the relevant acts state government should ensure that the oci card holder registration booklets of oci card holders are treated as their identification for any service rendered to them in case proof of residence is required overseas citizen of india card holder may give an affidavit stating that a particular specific address may be treated as their place of residence in india element of comparison does he or she required visa for visiting india nri no pio s oci can visit india without visa for lifelong elements of comparison is she or he required to register with the local police authorities in india nri no pio s if the period of stay is stays for more than 180 days oci no what activities can be undertaken in india nri all activities pio activity as per the time for visa obtain oci all activities except research work for which special permission is required from the indian mission post fwrvo consent how can one acquire india citizenship nri he or she is an indian citizen pio as per the citizenship act 1955 he or she has to be ordinarily resident in india for a period of 7 years before making an application for registration oci as per the citizenship act 1955 a person registered as an oci card holders for 5 years and who is ordinarily resident in india for 12 months before making an application for registration is eligible for grant of indian citizenship articles related to citizenship act a glance article number subject matter article 5 citizenship at the commencement of the constitution article 6 rights of citizenship of certain persons who have migrated to india from pakistan article 7 rights of citizenship of certain migrants to pakistan article 8 rights of citizenship of certain persons of indian origin residing outside india article 9 persons voluntarily acquiring citizenship of a foreign state not to be citizens article 10 continuance of the rights of citizenship article 11 parliament to regulate the right of citizenship by law notes and references on this date the permit system of for such migration was introduced this provision refers to migration after 1 march 1947 but before 26 january 1950 the question of citizenship of persons who migrated after 26 january 1950 has to be decided under the provisions of the citizenship act 1955 the form of the oath is as follows 1 a by b do solemnly affirm or swear that i will be i will be true faith and allegiance to the constitution of india as by law established and that i will faithfully observe the laws of india and fulfill my duties as a citizen of india the eighth schedule of the constitution reorgan recognizes presently 22 originally 14 languages this will not apply if he is a student abroad or is in is in the service of a government in india or an international organizations of which india is a member or has registered annually at an indian consulate his intention or retain his uh, indian citizenship by virtue of article 371d inserted by the 32nd constitutional amendment act 1973 article 371d has been extended to the state of telangana by the andhra pradesh Re- reorganization reorganization act 2014 further the jammu and kashmir reorganization act 2019 by forget the by forgetted the H12 state of Jammu and Kashmir into two separate union territories namely the union territory of Jammu and Kashmir and the union territory of Ladakh 
annual report 2015-16 ministry of home affairs government of india this table is downloaded from the website of ministry of home affairs government of india thank you